Good morning, everyone. So today I have uh, the new showcase dies for Tonic Studios. Tonic did sponsor this video, and they did send them free of charge for my review, and all opinions are my own. Any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So I went ahead and took a moment to take them out of the um, plastic packaging and pop them out, because usually I start talking about them and there's a lot of reflection because of the packaging that I forget to show. So what I want to show you is, this is a, they're both... Um, on the packaging say exquisite envelope die set so this is like an exquisite envelope collection uh, and generally they were created so that you can put a gift card in there maybe some money something smaller like that um, but they are two different um, pockets then they'll come in these pockets that will fit into the um, ring binders um, available there on tonic site if you want to keep them all together looking pretty uh, this one's called pretty pocket and this one is called Gilded Baronial. So it's two different sets, so they give you two different styles. So I'll show, I'll show you this one first here. And um, again, this is the Pretty Pocket. And it's basically like this one here that you would see. It's like that style. And the Baronial one is like this one here. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. But this one, very easy construction as you can see. This is the main die. And you would just run this through and just fold it up. And then these pieces come in and glue down. So very easy to use. And this little tab will slide into this tab that it, it opens up there for you. There's lots of um, tags or ways to layer up. You can decorate, you know, the um, little top flap there. Um, and then on this inner piece here that you can uh, decorate. And then these pieces that go together also. So there's lots of um, interchangeability there. And then this one here, um, it's oriented a little bit different way. So as you can see, you have this piece here and what it looks like is you're gonna cut two of this main die because you need the other piece and then we're gonna layer it up in such a way that you can close it up and you can orient your envelope you know, in a landscape way or in a portrait way, however you want to look at it, um, to open it up and things like that. Again, it has the layering dies with in, um, inserts or inlays, however you want to look at them. It does have this cute little um, like buckle look. Maybe you can see here. So really, really cute. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is work with this one because it does have, you know, some, it's not as straightforward as this one here where you just cut it out and put it together. I might cut that just so you see the base and what that looks like, but we'll work on this one today, okay? So let me grab some papers and we'll get started. Um, so really quickly, you know, let me measure these just so you have an idea if this will fit in whatever die cutting machine you might have. I'm looking at the largest tab to the, where it ends here, basically where it sticks out. Um, it's about, Uh, four and a quarter inches, just under four and a quarter inches, and then the length is about six inches. And this one's a little bit different in that it's all that one piece, so it's just as long. It's uh, six and a half ish by four and a half inches at the widest area here. So if it helps you out there. And so I'm gonna take some papers here that are inspired by the um, craft kit that will be coming out soon. They just for blue. Um, you've already priced in the preview and you can check out the craft kit there uh, for that's slated for next month. Of course we have a preview period right now. I'm going to use um, the main die and like I said we need two of this so I am going to cut it out from uh, from this paper. I'm not even sure I'm gonna use all three of these colors to be honest but I have this one here so I'm gonna cut two of these out um, and I'll be right back, just the way that it is, just a solid uh, piece. So I have uh, these two base pieces, and then, you know, I'm just gonna look at, see what it is that I want to do. Um, and I like to look at the examples and kind of have an idea. I think I like just the two tones, like here or even this one. Um, but however you like to do it. So I think what I'll do is that silvery color, I'll cut the little clasp out of that, which is this piece. I have this one here. And then for the background pieces, I'm going to use this uh, gorgeous tidal wave. So I need, depends on what I want to do. I suppose I need two of these for the top and bottom flap and two of these for the side flaps. You don't have to do all of it. You don't have to decorate all of it, but I'm going to do it that way um, in that tidal wave color. And I'll be right back just for those basic pieces. Um, and also this one. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll also put on that one. Let's go ahead and put this little insert. So I'm gonna put it closer because I like to conserve my paper. <laughs> I'll put this little piece in here also. 
and tape it down so it doesn't move and I'll run all these okay. through. Okay, so pretty. Look at that tidal wave. Love it. Um, and then I have, look how pretty that piece came out. So gorgeous. Um, okay, so what I want to do now is just do the pieces that are going to overlay over this. So these pieces are going to be here and then that shimmery paper. And you can just leave it like that. It's gorgeous. Or you could have cut the inlay in this and just had the two layers. Um, but I'm going to layer it up with a little more paper. So I'm going to take this same um, paper here and two of each again. Just going to find spots on here where I have space. So like put these two together and there's plenty of room right here for that. Of course I would tape them down. I'll just show you that real quickly. And I need two of each of these. So two of this one, two of the, the next one. Tape them down so they don't move. Same thing with this one. I'll find a spot where I can conserve that paper, make the best use of it. Tape that down also and run that through. So when I come back, I'll have all the pieces that we need. Okay. Normally I put the box together and then I go on to do the decorative parts, but I cut everything just to have it ready to go. So I'm gonna put this to the side just for now. Um, what I'm gonna do is just layer up my pieces. So um, let me get this poked out here. Oh, there it goes. Um, you know, this one over this here. And look how beautiful that little flower is. And it's that little detail that's on all these pieces here, like she's there. You can paper piece back in if you like doing that kind of thing. I did cut another one of the uh, clasp just so I can get the that piece backed. And it gives a nice weight to it too, so I do have that piece there. And so all I'm gonna do is go around and with my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, which is the glue that I prefer, I'm just gonna um, layer everything up. So I'll layer all these pieces. One of the examples, they had just cut the, um, the Verso die right into the base and it looks really, really nice. And um, but this one here, I'm just going to layer up on top of the um, envelope base. Okay, so I'm just going to glue everything together that way and I'll be right back. How pretty that is. Love that. And then I have my little buckle here. This piece will go in there. And this little guy. So um, there's a few things you can do when you're looking at this. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it obviously on the score lines because we need to um, glue this together. So it does have about a quarter inch or so um, space here, which is really nice, so nice thickness. Um, I'm gonna glue this together completely and make it like a box base, and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. Like this piece here, we'll glue to this piece here. Um, but you don't have to do that. If you wanna leave it so that it just opens on the top, like an actual, like an envelope would, you know, just open up on the top, then you can, um, cut that off and you won't have that piece to stick down and you'll stick down the bottom portions right the pieces down here and up the side but we'll talk about that in just a minute so I'm gonna go around and just score both of them just like that and I'll be right back have both pieces I'm gonna open them just a little bit so basically one lays inside the other so you see they're exactly the same because we die cut them this is the nice side this is the wrong side so this is the side that the die went into so it's nice you can kind of tell by the um, bevel there so both nice sides and now we're gonna have both nice side wrong side facing and you're gonna put them like this so I'm gonna hold this down just so you can kind of have a, a visual I'm gonna open this up so again you don't have to glue any of these little tabs if you don't want to if you want your envelope to just open up completely and the person has a um, the, the gift card or little money or whatever else might fit in here a little jewelry um, you can do that or you can glue all these pieces so that the box base stays like a box instead of opening out flat. Does that make sense? And like I said, if you want to glue these pieces so that this stays stationary, you would have to glue all these pieces down, glue them all, and then just this top piece opens. You can cut this tab off because you don't need it, and you can cut this tab off because you wouldn't need it, okay? I'm going to glue all the tabs down just because I think that's how it's intended, but do however you like. So I'm going to put glue on here, the very base. And I'll let that set up, hopefully nice and straight. So again, that could be done right there. Just leave it open. So when you open it up, it's completely open. I would just cut all those little extra tabs off. But I am going to go ahead and make it into a card, um, sorry, a box base. So I'm gonna wait for this to set up and I'll be right back. I think we're dry enough. So again, you could put all these pieces on before you start working with it, which may be good for this um, example, just because right now I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna try to glue it on here, but however you wanna do it. 
I am going to give the little tip of me folding these back because as you try to get these little tabs together, your pieces are facing in and they're kind of in the way. So what I would do is fold them back a little bit. And we're just going to put some glue on the tabs. And I like wet glues and I've talked about that before just because I feel like over time they hold up better, but whatever glue you prefer, use that. So I'm gonna hold two tab sides and then the other two tab sides again, gluing them to the inside, just like I did here. And I'll be right back. I think I'm all dried up here and see. So other choices you got to make. Do you want um, this to go in first and then these to be the top part? Now they do have little holes. If you're gonna put like ribbon through there, it's gonna stay open a little bit because obviously you can't collapse in together with the ribbon coming out of either side. Does that make sense? So it's gonna stay open just a little bit like this. And same thing if you were to choose these two guys, it's gonna stay open just a little bit so that that ribbon can go through this one, come out of this one. Um, really elegant looking, really cute. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and orient it this way so that we have our pretty pieces and this piece is gonna go here and here. And I can show you what that would look like if it was oriented the other way. If you wanted to use that same little latch, you would just orient it here and here. Very cute. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just glue down our decorative pieces. And, um, you know, if you want to pop dot them or pop them up, that would be really pretty too. Just give a little more dimension. Not too much though, because obviously you need to be able to close it, but a little something. And you see that tone on tone? I just like that. It looks so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to glue this here. And of course, glue these other pieces where they belong, and I will be right back. I tell you, once you start adding these other pieces, it just feels so much sturdier and so nice. Just lovely. So we have that double back because it was layered up, and then all these pieces, it just feels super sturdy. Um, I was going to mention, of course, I made this one. It looks a little more elegant. If you just use the base dies with some cute paper, then you can make it a little more whimsical. Maybe have some stamped you know, sentiments, however you want to put them, or stamping. I think it would be really cute. Um, okay, so again, these pieces are just going to be in here. So this is how my box is going to open up, and then the gift card would be inside. Um, so I'm going to keep those down, just those flaps, and then put these down. We're not using the holes at all in this, um, in this tutorial, but what I'm going to do is just glue the down. I'm just kind of eyeballing where this needs to be if I was to make it work. And I do see in the image they do have it kind of up like this to make it easy. I'm going to put it in here just to see what this looks like. Just to kind of have an idea of where I want to put this all. So cute. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Probably there. What I'm going to do is... I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I'm going to glue this top one down first. Pretty much this whole top piece. Just make sure it's really down. And then I'll slide it out and then I'll glue the other piece in. I'm just seeing where I want this to be. Right down the center. Okay, I'm going to hold this down until it's set and I'll That's be right ready. back. I'm going to put this right about there. So what I'm going to do is open this up without really moving it. Put some glue on here. Not too much that it gets all over the place, but enough so obviously it'll hold down. I'm going to hold that down and I'll be right back. I just popped that out and I was holding it down just to make sure this is stuck really well. While this is drying, I went ahead and cut out the other die from the, um, the main uh, die from the Pretty Pocket set. And so that's it. So this is the basic thing. And basically this one piece will make you your um, exquisite envelope there. So again, we're just going to score on all the score lines. And this one just kind of comes up over itself and makes its own uh, envelope just with the one piece. So I just quickly wanted to show you what that might look like. Again, these little tabs, are, these little tabs will glue down here. And those longer tabs will glue on the side. And again, about a quarter inch or so pocket. Really cute. And then this piece just locks into itself. And then you have all those pieces like the Verso die pieces that you can uh, decorate it up with. So really, really cool. 
Okay, guys, so I'm in my little latch functional, but if you want to stick this all together in one piece and then just put like a Velcro under this or a little magnet, you know, build those in, you can definitely do that. But otherwise, I just made it so that you can just pull this out, of course, and it opens up, and then your recipient can slide that back in there. So really, really sweet. Again, feels really hefty. You can dress it up. You can um, play it down however you want to use the dies. Of course, it's up to you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you so much, uh, Tonic, for sponsoring this video. And I will see you guys at the next one. Of course, links will be in the description box. Have a good one. Bye now.